This is tutorial number 106, and it covers the section views within Katia V5. To start off, open up the guitar cap product, which is included on the DVD. Now, once you have it loaded, what we're going to be doing is creating section views. And to do this, you have to have the space analysis toolbar open. And this is the section views uh, feature right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a few section views and I'm going to show you how to apply them and manipulate them within Katia. So to start off, what you have to do is click sectioning. So we'll, we'll click it. And what it's going to do is it's automatically going to bring up the part or product that you're creating a section on. And then it's also going to bring up uh, the resulting section view. Now, with this guitar, say that I had the rest of these parts open. Each of those parts and each of those uh, windows is also going to open in the same uh, same little format. So when you click sectioning, every single window is going to open and it's going to resize itself to allow each window to be open in your Katia all at once. So when you do this, don't be afraid when you have 10 windows open, you're going to have to try to figure out which one was the one that you were working on. Try to bring that up, move it around, uh, make it a bit bigger, and the same with the section. So once you've kind of moved all those other windows around and figured out uh, which ones you're going to be working on, and you have them set up like this, uh, you're able to create your section views. And this is just kind of like to set it up so you can see really what's going on. Now you're able to change the type of section view. So right now we have the section plane. If you do the section slice, you'll see the uh, difference. Now it's just a slice of it. And if we do the box, you'll notice that now we've got our whole part boxed in. Let's put it back to the section plane. Now you're also able to cut right through your uh, part. So if you click volume cut, you can see that we've now cut straight through our part also. And it's the same with our section view. So it looks exactly the same. Now the section view, remember, is only a 2D, and this is your 3D. Now you can toggle this on and off, it's up to you. Now, say this is the section view we want, let's click OK. And now we've created our section view. So if we go back into our guitar, just open it up, you can see that we have the outline of our section view there. Now whenever you make a section view, it's going to go under applications. So if you open it up, open up sections, you're going to have your section view there. So you can toggle it on, hide and show. And if you go to window, uh, secondary windows, you can go to your section view. So now you have your section view that you can uh, do what you need to do with, take some measurements, uh, print it out, whatever it may be. So your section view has its own separate window. And if you go back to the guitar, And let's just delete this first one that we made. And now that section view is gone. So let's go back into it and let's make a few more. So we'll click sectioning. And this time, what we're going to do is we're going to move it around. So you're either able to move it just by clicking on it. If you see, I have the double-sided green arrows there. I'm able to just click, drag, and move it. And you can see the result in the section window. Now you can just click and drag, or if you click positioning, you can actually uh, click edit position and actually put it to where you really want it to be. So this is a much more precise uh, approach. Or you're also able to kind of snap it onto uh, geometrical targets, positioning by selections. So this allows you to uh, really hone in on uh, your positioning of your uh, uh, section view. So by using these, you're able to click a few points. It's going to snap it right onto it. Now, your results again, you're also able to uh, export everything too. So after you've made it, you can make a picture, just export it, do what you need with it. Now I'll go back to the definition here. And let's just drag one. Let's put it not completely in the middle. Let's put it right here on the side. We'll click OK. Now we'll do another section view. And if you notice, like I said, it's going to open every single window up. 
Now this time let's change the coordinates. So right now it's going along the x, or it's uh, normal to the x, so now let's make it normal to the y. And let's pull it around, and you can make a section view. So we'll make one here, we'll change the definition to the section slice, click OK, and now we have another section view there. Let's make another one, and this time let's make it Z, and we'll just move it around until we get what we want. And this one, let's do a volume cut, click OK, and now we got another section. And now you can see that after you make your sections, they're all visible in your uh, part or product. You can toggle them on and off like to hide and show. And if we go to window and our secondary windows, we can toggle through and look at all the different sections that we've made. So this is really good as rather than just having the sections uh, by itself, you're able to go in and look individually at each of your sections. And if we want to bring some of them back, all we have to do is uh, do the hide show, and you're able to bring them back. So by using the sectioning tool, you're able to uh, create sections. It's more, it's a visual tool that you need uh, when you're creating your part. So it helps you in the design and the communication of what's going on with your part and what's going on with your uh, assembly and just uh, the mates and the interference and whatnot. So that concludes our tutorial on the section views within CATIA V5.